if we ask a Twilight question, we have to ask a follow-up Twilight question. So, <laughs> Edward, Jacob? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Lollapalooza, it's so instantly catchy. I remember in the documentary, you said it came to you and someone said, Perry, what is a Lollapalooza? Do you mind explaining what, what exactly all. a Lollapalooza is? Not at all, it's very important. The word, the name is extremely important. It means someone or something wonderful. The second interpretation is it's a giant swirling lollipop. <laughs> which I utilize that concept to swirl in all of us. Come on in, you yeah. know, we're, we can swirl you in. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, it was so beautiful. I mean, we also want to talk about your lasting legacy. Not only did you, like, create Lollapalooza, not only were you the front man for James Addiction, you were on the Twilight soundtrack. That, <laughs> what was it like finding out that you were going to be on the Twilight soundtrack? I'm living in Venice at the time and get a knock on the door. I'm not expecting anyone. But I tell my kid, you know, Answer the door, tell, tell him to go away, you know? <laughs> but I'm on the other side of the door. So I'm like this. <laughs> so my kid's going, my dad says to go away. <laughs> and he's looking at me. So, I, okay, it's my friend Brian. So, all right, Brian, hey man, what's going on? Come on in. <laughs> he goes, I gotta get you on the sound check. My girlfriend's coming up down with this uh, new movie. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, all right, you know, how can I relate to tween? There's an expression that I have not heard in years and years. Did you go all the way? Did you guys go all the way? <laughs> <laughs> so that became the chorus. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, go all the way with me. Let's yeah. go all the way. Yeah, it's playing the, the prom scene. Yeah, we just looked it up. That's so cool. That's so awesome. <laughs> the McMillions opening song yep. that we used for our series was been caught stealing. Oh, oh whoa, that's, that's so cool. cool. So y'all, a connection before. I actually yeah, so, saw the film. Uh, James and I were such big fans of Jane's Addiction, oh. and, and James was like, we should use been caught stealing. It was like, oh, this is the perfect, I mean, if you know the story, it's about yeah, yeah. stealing Monopoly game pieces. Yeah. So That's so <laughs> cool. All right, <laughs> okay, final question. Cell phones at concerts, yes or no? No. No? Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, you know what? Uh, in in small doses. In small doses. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that, but, but at the same time, you want to remember it. So. But just go with the Polaroid camera. There you, you go. Get, Ooh. Get. Okay. Bringing it back to the old school <laughs> lens. We're looking at this. Yeah, personally, I I cannot censor anybody to tell them you can't take a picture. <laughs> so I agree with you, fellas. You know, would I rather them paying attention rather than? You know, staring at me. I would prefer if they were present. You know, put it up once, get a good shot, but then forget it and 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 like live and enjoy the concert. Live, live, yeah. for, live in the moment. That that's what I would suggest. Well, the documentary definitely shows people doing just that, living in the moment, enjoying an experience. Yeah. I'm excited. So yeah. make sure to check it out, Paramount <laughs> Plus, Lollapalooza. This has been the Vulture Spot. I've been Jay Jordan. Thank y'all so much for coming. Thank, Thank you so much for having us.